These two problems deal with simplifying square roots and specifically with when you have a square root in the denominator. So to simplify these, you first break the, square, the fraction into two separate square roots. So square root of 7 over the square root of 3. And as you can see, we write the square root of 3 in the denominator is bad. We never want the square root in the denominator. But what we can do is we can always multiply the top and the bottom of a fra fraction by something. In this case, we multiply by square root of 3 because square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, which is... Three. So the, the method is always um, multiply the denominator by whatever your square root is down there. Uh, and so in this case it was square root of 3, so we multiplied by square root of 3. So square root of 7 times square root of 3 is square root of 21, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, and we know the square root of 3, uh, square root of 9 is 3. Now notice that I can't factor this any further. It's not square root of 7. 21 can't, uh, 3 can't go into 21 because square root of 21 and square root of 3 or 3 are not the same thing. They're two totally different things. So that, that's not possible. So your final answer is the square root of 21 over 3. For the other one, you've got square root of 24 over 5. Square root of 5, well, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 5. All right, whatever that, whatever's in that denominator, that's what we multiply by. So that gives us on the top, well, 24 times 5 is 120, so the square root of 120. And then on the bottom, square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25, which we know that is 5. So we need to simplify the top. Well, if you notice, the, the perfect square 4 goes into 120, and so you get the square root of 4 um, times the square root of 30. Um, and we went ahead and simplified square root of 25 first, so that, that's where the 5 came from the denominator. So you get square root of 4 times square root of 30 all over 5. Well, the square root of 4 just equals 2, so we're left with 2 times the square root of 30 over 5. And that is your final answer. You can't simplify any further than that.